sick. <laughs> Am I cool now? Is it too big? They've all been too big for me. None of them fit my head, they're too small. You got a small head. You got a big head. <laughs> We're Lloyd and Mandy. We've been traveling full time for the past six months, searching for the perfect place to live as digital nomads. After a fun filled week in Bangkok, Thailand, we spent a few days in Chiang Mai, checking out some of the amazing temples and restaurants. Today, we're traveling to Phuket. We will be spending a few days exploring Thailand's biggest and most popular island to find out if it's worth all the hype. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Okay, we made it to the airport after a bit of confusion. When we first got here, we couldn't find where we were supposed to check in. <laughs> and we're already such anxious flyers, so that just upped the ante. But we made it, we're safe, and we're on time, and everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I think since COVID, I've become more anxious with flying. Like, the night before and on the way here and everything, I get really worried that like we've missed something and we're not going to get on the flight. Yeah. I never used to be like that. I think it's because of all the COVID stuff that we've dealt with the last couple of years with travel. The amount of time it takes to check in or do things in every single airport that we've been in so far has been completely different. So you never really know what to expect when you get there. This was really fast. They do like double security though, so they like check your checked bag and then you have to go through additional security, so it's like two different things. Yeah, I've never seen that anywhere else. I don't know if it's new or they always have done it here. Yeah, so that's another thing to keep in mind to allow extra time for that. <laughs> so embarrassing. So we just ordered, ordered, um, well, we didn't get a grab because we've been getting grab around uh, Thailand, but one of our subscribers DM'd us and told us about Bolt, which is the same thing, but it's half the price. And it was going to be about 180 baht each to get in a minivan taxi to Patong, but it's only 500 for a Bolt taxi. So waiting for that and we just got some sandwiches because Mandy's angry this time. <laughs> Usually it's me. <laughs> Sick. This is so nice. <laughs> wow. How are you good? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This is sick. It's got like a luxury bus. Um is this place? Because Bolt and Grab use like taxi services as well, so you can basically just order your own private taxi. This is a whole minivan. This is stuff. awesome. Seems like a bit of a waste. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Okay, we just checked into our hotel in Patong Beach. Uh, this place is about $20, um, 20 Australian dollars a night. It's very basic, but it's in a great location. So we've only booked one night here. We'll see how it goes. We're just gonna chill for a little bit and then maybe go do some sightseeing in Phuket. It's still raining at the moment. Not really friendly to walk around, but um, so far it looks really cool. The town itself is really cool and I like how 
like buildings are built into the sides of like the mountains and stuff looks really nice uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see more of it. All right, we just had a little chill for a minute. And we've decided we're only gonna stay here for one night. Pretty average room. It's nothing wrong with it. The reviews made it sound a lot better online. We really enjoyed having the gym and, and the pool at the last place that we were at in Chiang Mai. So we've decided we want another place like that. It also, we also got included with breakfast as well. So it just makes our lives a little bit easier and then we can just focus on going out and exploring and videoing and that. Um, we're gonna go out to Patong Beach now. Yep, I don't know where, just explore. We just walked pretty much across the street and we like stumbled onto this like carnival <laughs> of pubs. Carnival of Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> up in Phuket uh, we both had pretty awful sleeps here <laughs> the walls are pretty much paper thin and last night someone dropped like a full bag of marbles or something in the middle of the night oh my god yeah I'll take the L on this one um, <laughs> it was a cheap hotel and it had really good reviews it's not bad but I pretty much judge a hotel on how much sleep we can get yeah um, so I booked Luckily, our plan is always booking just one night because you never know. Even though it's got good reviews, you can show up and the photos are outdated or it's like this place, it's a bit noisy at night. Um, not in the best area either. So we've booked another hotel for tonight. So we're gonna go a little bit nicer, still cheap. Hopefully we can get some sleep. Yeah, we're gonna go grab some brekkie and maybe have a look around Phuket before we move hotel. so good to be near the beach again. I'm excited to see the beach here. I have a feeling it's gonna be beautiful. The sand looks like it's so nice. Eight o'clock in the morning and it's already hot. Yeah, <laughs> it's really humid. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 Good morning. <laughs> tattoos that give away that he's Australian. He always gets like the people coming up to him and being like putting on the Aussie accent saying like good day and everything to him which I don't get as a Canadian which I'm a bit sad about. <laughs> I'm not sure what they would say if they were gonna come up to me and do the Canadian thing like how's it going eh? Yeah it's their marketing tactic they think by putting on an Aussie accent you're gonna buy something from them but doesn't work. <laughs> Gonna have to eat some of this. It's so big. So we've just come about a street back from the main beach. Find some breakfast that wasn't four times the price <laughs> what it normally is. We found this good place. It's called Thai Food Restaurant. 
Wow, this place is so much better. <laughs> you need extra ten dollars a night, and you get, I guess, the difference between a two-star hotel and a four-star hotel. Yeah, it's worth spending the extra ten dollars. It's not even that far from where we were. It's still in a good spot. Yeah, it's not like fancy. But it's pretty good. When you come from a place that we were just at to something even just more basic like this, but. It's still luxury for us. And a nice view. And the beers are cheap. <laughs> Touched that bloody cat again and my allergies <laughs> every time. Uh, we've got some work to do. We've got a podcast to record, vlogs to edit, lots of admin to catch up on. So we're gonna do that today and then we're heading out to Bangla Road tonight. Here's the gym. Awesome view. Oh my goodness. Cannot wait to work out here in the morning. Beautiful. This is awesome. For the price too, like, to have breakfast and a gym and a rooftop pool, which we'll show you. We are currently putting together a full monthly budget for you guys, but generally we like to spend between 30 to 40 Australian dollars a night uh, on places that we're staying, and that seems to be in the not too low, but just right point for us. Only if it's including breakfast. Yeah. $30 a night for a hotel. Yeah. On its own. Yeah. <laughs> is our max. You can tell he's the budget man. <laughs> right, we are just about to hop in a bolt and head off to Bangalore Road see what's happening there and what it's all about. We're gonna grab some street food and take a walk around. It's the third bolt we've ordered and they've all been like massive passenger vans. Yeah, with cool lighting. <laughs> We went to Bangla Road. It was interesting. We're happy that we got to see it. It was really busy. Like we were pretty overwhelmed with how many people were there. It's good to see that like the tourism and everything's picked up. It's really nice. It's not really somewhere that you'd want to just like go chill at. It's pretty intense. So we, we didn't stay for too long. We kind of just went and saw and then left. If you're not wanting to like party, it's not really probably the place for you. <laughs> pretty crazy party atmosphere. Today we're heading to Karan Beach, but we're just gonna go around the Karan Beach area and see what it's all about. Looks really beautiful. Uh, Lloyd's just rented a scooter for us. That was about 300 baht. You do have to give your passport in order to get to rent it, or you have to do at least 3,000 to 5,000 baht deposit. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to rent a scooter while you are in Patong or Phuket. But So we're gonna jump on the scooter. We've got some really funny helmets to chuck on. And <laughs> we're just gonna go tour around and do what we do best, which is stumble upon maybe some good food and some random stuff that we don't know about. Ah, uh, my helmet. Sick. <laughs> cool now? Is it too big? They've all been too big for me. None of them fit my head, they're too small. You got a small head. You got big head. <laughs> uh, why are all the helmets they give us so dark? What is this thing?
to Karan Beach. It's so beautiful and it's nice because it's super dead at the moment. There's hardly anyone here. We look like huge dorks on the scooter, but... <laughs> yeah, that, mo that helmet wasn't doing anything for protection. No, mine's so big and Lloyd's way too small. Yeah, but <laughs> oh well. no, at least we won't get pulled over. Yeah. <laughs> they got surfboards here for hire, but it Just doesn't really seem like a surf beach. Maybe it different times that the tide doesn't look right for it right now. We're gonna go check out the beach. than Patong. We're thinking of maybe seeing if there's any accommodation down this way. We'll see if there's anything that we like. We just really like this beach and it's super quiet. It's really nice. There's a couple of little restaurants behind us we might check out. All like local food. It looks really good. Mandy loves a new helmet so much she's never taking it off. Oh. <laughs> I forgot I had it on. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> this is exactly what I want after being at the beach. That's okay. the day here it'd be good oh see ya <laughs> and there's food vendors as well like right on the beach you get food and drinks yeah this is probably the best beach we've been to so far we've just got some food from one of the stalls up there and she even brought it down to us on the beach nice yeah right. yeah such a good view here um, eating our lunch on the beach enjoyed our time in Kata Beach. Lloyd's managed to find us a good accommodation uh, down that way, so we're actually gonna go spend a few nights down um, in Kata. Yeah, I just think our last two nights in Phuket we'll spend down there. It's really nice and quiet, and the beach is really cool. There's a few good restaurants around, it looks like, and I found another good hotel for the weekend, which is really cheap and has a gym and breakfast as well. Yeah, so plenty of options in a lower price range if you're interested in coming to Phuket. Yeah, prices are probably going to start going up soon, so make sure you book now. Yeah, um, we're going to end this vlog here. If you're interested in seeing what Kata's all like and our next accommodation, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed our video, please hit the like button as it helps us know whether or not you want us to keep making these videos. And uh, we're on a goal at the moment to try and hit 100,000 subscribers by November 11th this year. We could be absolutely crazy <laughs> yeah, we, aiming for this. <laughs> we started on November 11th last year, so we've decided we want to get to 100,000 within the first year. Yeah. It's a big goal. Yeah. But you guys can help us out by subscribing. Yes. And everyone that has already, thank you so much. We appreciate all your support so much. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.